we will be speaking now with Nandy and Maya McLean. Ladies, are you there? Yes, hello. Hi. How, how are you? Oh, I love it. Say it again. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'll be, I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Fosters, it's Australian for there. <laughs> you probably hear that all the time, right? I'm sorry, that was some poor taste. Can you understand our accent? I do. <laughs> yes. So I, I have to ask Maya, because my name is Maya. Where did your parents? Uh, where did your parents come up with your name? And you spell it right too. I love that you know how to spell our name. That's good. Did your parents name you after name. Maya Angelou <laughs> or anybody specifically? Um, how she created our names was um, she um, she. Our mother got, went to a whole bunch of her different nationality friends, multicultural friends, and had them all write down a, a names from their cultures on a piece of paper. And then she just picked two, and she came up with Maya and Nandy. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. That so was pretty original. So you guys are obviously uh, in the States. You live out, you're based out in L.A., correct? Yes, we live in Santa Monica. Santa Monica. So, obviously, um, being in L.A., that's Lakers country. How, and living out in that area, is it as big and being a Laker fan as it seems to the rest of the country like it's a big deal? Say that again? Um, it seems like everybody in California is really big on the Lakers. They make it seem like if you're in L.A. that, you know, you must be a Lakers fan. How did you perceive that when you came to the States? Did you immediately pick up on Kobe Bryant and the Lakers being a big deal in L.A.? Yeah, definitely. It's um, there's a huge following out here. You know, you see the merchandise everywhere, and a lot of like the tourist shops and things like that. So it's it's definitely got its own um, vibe happening happening out here, and a lot of committed fans. Okay, so being you know Australian and everything, obviously, I'm assuming that rugby was probably like the big sport for you guys growing up. That you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a lot of rugby down there, which is cool. They actually like cricket as well, uh -huh. which is interesting. Um, we used to play netball, which was is kind of like more of a female sport. But, yeah, definitely rugby league. All right, explain netball. I'm curious about that. <laughs> netball, <laughs> it's, um, it's a female sport. I guess I would call it the female version of basketball, but um, they, they don't have um, a backboard or a net. So, you, so you why are you much calling that ball then? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just is what it is. I guess maybe it was just the, 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 um, where I played, so I guess maybe the professionals might have it. But, um, but yeah, it's, you can't, you're not allowed to move with the ball. So, um, so every time you, you catch the ball, you have to stay still and you can only move one foot and you kind of have to swivel around and then find your opponent and then, um, then throw the ball to them. So it was difficult when I had, when I had a a little turn of um, trying to play basketball. And I, my, I kept, um, you know, stopping and everyone's going, what are you doing? Because I was getting all the, the rules mixed up. <laughs> but, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> okay, so our listeners definitely want to know, what team are you rooting for for tomorrow night's football game, the Bears or the 49ers? Um, I would say the 49ers. Wrong answer. Hey, hey, I'm okay with that. Don't worry about that. Uh, I got you. I got you, girls. Good answer. The right answer. Right answer, ladies. Right answer. Okay. We won't hold that against you. We definitely won't hold that against you. But what we want to do now is actually go to what your fans want to know about you from the Beautiful Nights page. We have a couple questions. Um, Marie Ratcliffe wants to know, what is your daily schedule like? What do you do on a daily basis being dancers for Prince? Um, well, usually we wait for a call. <laughs> like It depends where we are. Like sometimes we'll be in the hotel till about 1 p.m. and then we'll get a call. So so the, the first thing is like hurry up and wait. It's okay. kind of like when you're working in the film industry as well. You get ready, do all your things, and then you're waiting. Um, so, so, you know, we usually go to the gym, work out, and do things like that in the meantime. And... Um, and um, do our own rehearsals and, and things until he actually calls. Mm -hmm. So, um, so when we get a call from him, we usually go into the studio. I mean, into the um, into the rehearsal space in usually around in the afternoon because we usually go till early hours of the morning. So we usually wow. work between those hours. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, go yeah. Ahead, I'm sorry. He, so he doesn't sleep, so he doesn't believe in time or anything like that. It's just totally. Let's just keep. You know, working and, and being in the moment and freedom, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's a lot different. Okay, so what they want to know also is, were you guys nervous initially beginning to work with him? Uh, initially? Um, 
I guess there's always a little bit of nerves, uh, but we didn't really know that much about him. So it was kind of a... We knew that it was huge, mm-hmm. but there wasn't any of this, you know, like, I have to impress him because I know that he did this, 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 this and this. Mm-hmm. We just we just knew that it was big and we heard a little bit about him when we were younger, like through the 80s and stuff, but we were all very sheltered growing up. So we were cut, half coming from a clean slate as well. Mm-hmm. So we didn't have all this dark going, oh, what, what happened when he did this? And back then, Purple Rain, you know, we didn't have all these things that we were bringing to the table. We were coming from a, a very clean slate. So we were nervous just because we're new in the country and, you know, he is a huge artist and, and, um, and we knew that. But outside of anything else, it was, pretty, it was pretty fresh and I think he liked that too. Mm-hmm. And you guys actually auditioned for Michael Jackson too, right? Yes, yes. Okay. We, um, we, he was actually our inspiration um, to getting into the performing arts, Michael Jackson, so that was an um, amazing opportunity. We used to want to dance with him when we were, like, 14, so... It was kind. Of, it was like a childhood dream opportunity that we had there, so we were very excited about that. Okay. Well, a um, couple qu- couple more questions, and we're going to get you out on, out of here. And um, somebody wants to know what's your your favorite Prince song. <laughs> um, this is Nandy, and I, me personally, I love When Doves Cry. Okay. That's and and one of the songs that I that I do remember when I was a, a, really young was um, Get Off. Yes, and that groove and that beat in that I used to because we grew up in Australia. There's not a, a there's not much of an urban um, community, mm-hmm. so me and May were always listening for that um, like reaching out for our blackness. <laughs> so we'd be listening to listening to to that specific album, and I think well, at that age, whenever it came out, it was that was what was what was hot, and. Um, so I remember just specifically loving that song with that groove and those African American voices in there, um, and that was what we were drawn to at the time. So they're my two. Do you want to share what yours are, mate? Okay. Um, I love the song "Get Off." Okay. So yeah, I, I love that one as well. So you know, it's pretty much the main one. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, what Beautiful Nights and all the listeners from the Beautiful Nights uh, Forum want to know is, what do you plan to bring? to the party Saturday night, November 24th at 10 p.m. When you guys arrive, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a big, a huge excitement. What do you guys plan to bring as a special element to the party? Um, we, we plan to bring getting really connected with everyone just because we, we haven't had many opportunities to, to really connect with the fans. Like when we're doing the shows, we're just kind of in and out. So, um, I would, you know, we haven't really had a chance to get connected to the fans, especially those fans in Chicago. So we're definitely looking forward to, you know, getting more related to them and, and, and you know, answering questions, taking photos and, yeah, having a lot of fun. Okay. Well, Stats and Stilettos definitely can't wait to meet you guys. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear good things. So I definitely can't wait to meet you guys. You got to watch out for that guy. You see good things. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I haven't forward seen him to yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, well, look forward to meeting you guys, too. Okay, well, we definitely thank you again for being on the show. Again, I just want to let the people know where the party is. It is going to be at the Harold Washington Cultural Center, located at 4701 South King Drive. The doors open at 10 p.m. and close at 2. So you got a lot of time to party, lots of prints. All Maya and Nandy and Stess and Stilettos will definitely be in the building. So thanks again, ladies, for calling in. We appreciate you. Look forward to meeting you. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. Thank no you. Problem. Sure have, thing. Have a great night.